Oh right guys. Anyway, let's get on with the mansion. Going somewhere. But for now, just drive. Yep, grab expansion. Uh, let's get this one out of the way. Oh, look who it is. Didn't I just see you? you? What are you doing here? Uh I might ask you the same thing. No. Um that wasn't really a yes or no question. You should get out of here. This place is bad news. Uh, pardon me. <laughs> Maybe for you, but for a badass bitch like me. And here it is. That was not suspicious. Anybody home? It's up to you anyway, if you prefer violence, you can go through it. Killing everybody. Let's get this guy. After this one. It is quite peculiar, the happenings I've been made to witness for my supernatural longevity. I am thinking of one unfortunate phenomenon in particular, of unique interest to my station, both as a professional and as a sufferer of this vampiric condition. It seems the stream of time has begun to erode the moorings of my chosen course of study, for the methodologies that gave birth to psychology are slowly disappearing. I find myself in an era that overlooks the physical component of psychological pathology time and again in favor of the sophistic practices of Freud. Phrenology, dactopindalism, and the rest of the old god has fallen by the wayside, its champions all silenced in death, with my unique exception. Would that I could make my voice heard again, although it may be suspicious should I return to popular medical discourse fifty years after my apparent death. No, better that I continue my studies into the psychoses in secret. One day, may I hold up my own cure as validation of the methods. I am confident no cure for my condition or that of my beloved wife lies within our figurative minds waiting to be unlocked by the correct combination of memories recovered from our childhood. And I'm most certain it has nothing to do with the relationship between myself, my parents, and my genitals. Sorry, Sigmund, but I choose to stay my course. In time, too, may your star fade and disappear. Yeah, he tends to waffle on. I'm not sure if I'll want to listen to all of them because I have before. But I will, just in case people want to. Perception at once shapes the mind and rules over time. 
same time, however, erodes human perception and then in turn warps the mind. The mind is, I have no idea what that word says, having various effects on perception and time and mind itself with how many progressions made. temperamental Another unfortunate casualty to tide of time, insane asylums. I lament their loss not only as brokerage houses for the breadth and depth of human psychosis, but also I shall mourn the disappearance of that peculiar environment present only in an insane asylum. That palpable atmosphere of blistered brains and churning bowels, the odiferous melange of freely flowing bodily humors, that gently rolling cacophony of distant sobs and screams, the muttered cursing of perceived enemies, and the blissful gurgling of the lobotomized, like a newborn babe discovering the sky. I shall still find test subjects as surely as I find bloody sustenance in the night, but this climate, I fear, may never be ready. Predictable. Yeah, these guys have a very um, cone of vision, but they can spot you in certain I generally just run around sneaking, killing, and stealth. Combination of both. Just going through the entire mansion. Sneak killing gets boring. Smart. Smart. Let's open here. Often I reflect with great regret on the missed opportunity that was my infector. Had I been conscious after the attack, I could have stopped the orderlies from locking her in the roaming pen. What I would give for just one interview, a few simple questions of the plague-ridden woman who met her end that dawn. 